Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. I'm joined, of course, by two very familiar faces. Pakilala na lang kayo. Hi guys, I'm Mary. It's your tech girl. <laughs> and? Uh, hi, I'm Alvin of Alvin Tries Tech. So make sure that you guys subscribe to their channels. And before anything, of course, an on topic natin for today. So our topic for today is we're going to pit the A71 against the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. Let's go! If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are going to give away a Joy Room power bank that will change your life. So make sure that you watch wow. until the very end of the video because we'll announce the giveaway for giveaway mechanics and it will be a very short giveaway. It's just three days upon publishing of this video. So make sure that you follow the mechanics when we announce it. Good luck. So first up, we're going to talk about design. Which of either phone is better looking and better ergonomically? So we'll ask Alvin and Mary to weigh on it. Para na lang ako referee para mo talagang Laban kami ni Alvin. Okay, so game. So Mary, go muna, ladies first. In terms of design. This one is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. First of all, what I like about the design is the aura glow effect or the rainbow effect in short. But the difference guys with the Note 10 series is medyo mas less lang yung rainbow effect nito. But overall, I like the feeling of holding it kasi nga it's very light and manipis lang siya and the camera bump you won't even feel it kapag like hindi siya nagwawobble sa table kaya gusto ko siya. Kinumpare ko yung dalawang phone. Actually, kung ergonomics lang yung pag-uusapan, halos same talaga sila ng size eh. Yung feel mo sa kamay, pareho lang. So, sa totoo lang, hindi mo ma-determine, distinguish kung ano yung A71 sa Note 10. Kanina nga, nung hinawaka ko pareho. Oo, makukonfuse ka talaga sa kanila. Yung pinaka-difference lang nila is yung camera bump. So, mas malaki yung camera bump nung, S, ay, nung A71 compared dun sa Note 10 Lite. Halos magkamukha lang sila. May, may color red ba yan? Wala, no? Wala. Yung okay. colors nila yung, yung sobrang ganda yung yes. Note 10 Lite. <laughs> <laughs> Binase lang sa color, yes. o, di ba? Actually, ang kinaganda ng Note 10 Lite is the color red because the Note 10 series doesn't have the red one. And mas manipes ang Note 10 Lite kaysa ki A71. Oh, mas manipes ko siya? Yes. Oh. Hindi napansin. Oh, Tanya pa. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yung pagawakan mo, o nga. Mas Ramdam manipes. Mo. Kahit, kahit alisin mo yung Jolly Case, mas manipes si Note 10 Lite. And that's ah, considering okay, this yes, has yes. an S Pen inside of yes. it, di ba? Ako, oh, sige, honestly, mas gusto ko ngayon yung design ng Note 10 Lite dun sa color lang ng back kasi mas, mas premium siya tingnan compared dito sa A71. Medyo mas mukha siyang, yung glass stick niya, mas dalang-dala niya na mukha siyang glass. Dito, alam mong plastic talaga eh. Okay. So actually, you know you have a good point kasi yung, pla yung the way they did this one, parang reflective lang na yes. metallic eh. Ito kasi linagan nila ng pattern. Mm. Para sa akin, the pattern cheapens it. Eh. Yes. Diba? A-series ta talaga yung dati. Oo. Oh, ito kasi parang feeling mo ay social. Parang ito feeling mo ay medyo lang. Parang <laughs> diba? So, more or less, mukhang we're all in agreement that in terms of look and design, the winner is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. Okay? Uh, and then, of course, we get to Sabihin natin para mas madaling intindihin, like gaming performance, gaming. aka Game yung play. processor plus the, the, the graphics card, etc. etc. Which of the two para sa inyo yung better in terms of gaming? Kung specs lang pag-uusapan, mas mataas talaga yung specs ng Note 10 Lite. Tapos ayun nga, mas, yun, alam natin na mas responsive agad siya. So for gaming, I would say na mas maganda yung gaming performance ng, sa, uh, ng Note 10 Lite. Pero, Pero take it's... note, you're paying 10 Almost 10,000 yes. pesos more, diba? So, yun yung, yung din So, yun. oh, given na mas maganda yung performance niya. Ang problem ko lang sa mga units na lumabas dito sa... Oh, wala ba i-discuss yun? Oo, oh, Ang problem ko lang sa mga units na lumabas dito sa Pilipinas is Exynos yung chipset nila. Yes. And Snapdragon to. Sabi nila mas may tendency daw na uminit yung Exynos. Totoo yan. I was Snapdragon. about to say that. I was about to say that. Yun yung issue pa even before with previous... Samsung phones with the Flagship. Exynos processor. Ang bilis niya uminit. I think yun yung one of the best things about the Snapdragon eh. Yung heat management yes. nila. Oh, we sound so techy na. <laughs> <laughs> Pero yun, mararamdaman mo talaga yun. Lalo na even on the mid-range phones. Kaya sobrang laking bagay na pag nakalagay Qualcomm Snapdragon. Even if you compare it to the MediaTek and the Huawei processor. Actually, si Huawei nagka-catch up yes. eh. Yung, ano nga ba yung pangalan? Helios. Yung, Helios, yeah. nagka-catch up si... Ay, Kirin. Oh. Sorry. Sino ba si Helios? <laughs> Si Helios. Sa mid-range devices. Ah, uh, Kirin. Basta yung Kirin. Okay. Pala. So, basta <laughs> Huawei processors are catching up. But, but yung Qualcomm for me still one of the best in terms of overall capability. Yes. And then yung chipset kasi guys ni Note 10 Lite, ginamit din siya sa flagship last last year, KS9. 
So, kung tatanungin niyo ako in terms of gameplay talaga, mas okay si Note oh, kasi 11. parang naka-S9 ka na. Yes, parang kumbaga flagship specs na yung naki Note 10. Like, For 30,000 yes. pesos. Diba? So, magkano ba ang S9 ngayon na second hand? Malamang... Siguro mga ganun din actually, ka-price nito. Mga Pero ito may S Pen. <laughs> Yun lang. You have the S Pen. Okay, so mukhang panalo dito, obviously, si Note 10 Lite. Okay, so for the next category, we're going to talk about the camera. And when it comes to the Galaxy Note 10 Lite, it has a three-camera setup led by, I think they're mostly 12, 12 megapixel megapixels. shooters. Same with iPhone. Lahat so, ano yung mga... 12 megapixels main camera, 12 megapixels ultrawide, and 12 megapixels depth sensor. Depth sensor. <laughs> Okay, it's not a big deal. Next to you, next to you. This is a quad camera setup. So, it has a 64 megapixel main camera. Then, it has a depth sensor, ultra-wide lens, and then macro lens. So, it has a lot more on its camera. Yes, and it's a big deal, 64 megapixel, because it uses the pixel binning. Diba? Basically, they take multiple... Correct me if I'm wrong. Parang they take multiple shots ba yun? Nang malaki, tapos they condense it into a smaller. So, mas maganda yung overall in terms of low-light photography and yung general, I don't know, like vibe of the photo. Manonotice mo na lang siya pag nag-zoom in ka na sa photo kasi it's more detailed. Pagdating dun sa may pixel binning. So, I guess more or less, but pwede mo na sabihin in terms of camera, mas maganda talaga si... Even the selfie, sama na natin. Actually, yun yung problema ko dyan eh. Sa... So no 10 light. Uh, so I've been playing around with it for the last few days. I'm not really happy with the camera that performance. So, par parang you're, what you're paying here talaga is the S Pen, not the, the camera. Not the camera. Kasi ito, mas mura, mas maganda yung camera. Mm, yung selfie camera niya, sobrang na-notice ko na iba yung, iba agad yung quality nila. Mas sharp yung nandito. Tapos Kaya yung siguro dahil mas malaki yung punch yes. niya. May mm. compromise talaga eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi ko baga, if you're, you're paying really for the S Pen more yes. than anything else. So, in agreement tayo, camera panalo si Sa SP71. Okay guys, for our last category, we're going to talk about overall value for money. Now, for those who don't know, in terms of pricing, the Galaxy Note 10 Lite sells for 30,000... 30,000. 30,000. 29,990 to be exact. And Samsung Galaxy A71? 22,990. So, 23. Okay, so there's a 7,000 price difference. So, the challenge here is, ano yung may must bang for your buck? And ako, before anything, I think it really boils down to what you need. Yes. Diba? Kasi yun yung magiging main differentiator talaga ng dalawa eh. Sige, Ber, tuloy mo yung... Feeling ko pareho naman sabihin natin sa go. I think it really depends on what you do. Just like, for example, someone DM me on IG that they lost their Note 10 8 and they can't afford the Note 10, like yung Note 10 series flagship kasi nga around 40,000, 50,000. So they opted for the Note 10 Lite because they really want the S Pen. And the S Pen is actually same features na may Meron si Note 10 series. The only difference is the gyro sensor na hindi naman din ganun ka. Nagmamatter. For me lang naman. Oh, yun yung air na. scrolling. Like Harry Potter. Gimmick lang yun. Gimmick yes. lang yun eh. <laughs> And hindi masyag ganun ka-importante. So, yung S Pen, it's still... Just so yung S Pen, Note 10 na Note 10 talaga. Oh, and, and I just like want to add, the main features, kanyari yung pag kahit naka-off yung phone, tapos tatanggalin mo yung pen, pwede ka na magsulat. Yes. Uh, number two, yung converting what you write into text. Sobrang yes. laking bagay oh. nun. Uh, as somebody who, ako, ako, I have a day so job. Executive. Oo, malaking bagay. Kanyari, pag nag-notes ka, tapos convert mo, padala mo sa email. Uh, and lastly, sobrang favorito ko talaga. Favorito. No? Pinagsama ko ang English at Tagalog. Favorito. O, di ba? Ang favorito ko talaga is yung annotation. Yung pwede ka magsulat on anything. So, for example, if somebody sends me like a deck or sends me like a image for comments, labas mo na yung S-Pen, sulat-sulat ka na lang doon. Versus magta-type ka ng email, di ba, napaka-cumbersome. So, yun yung gusto ko talaga. As a productivity machine, doon siya lumalama. You're paying for that 7,000 for that. And then ako, yun yung reason why I actually, in terms of bang for your buck value for money, because what I need is the S-Pen, mas gusto ko to. Pero sabihin natin mas gusto mo magandang camera. Kung camera, mas pipili mo, mas masusulit mo talaga kasi yung A71 kung camera yung main priority mo. Ang para sa akin, kung gaming ka or kung gaming performance power user ka, mas masusulit mo talaga yung Note 10 Lite. Especially dahil doon niya sa S Pen niya. Halos lahat actually nang kilala ko na sobrang power user sa mga cellphone, Note series talaga yung hinahanap nila. Correct. So kung gusto mo makatipid, na may S Pen ka, tapos very versatile and very um, yun powerful yung phone mo. Yung S, yung uh, yung Note 10 Lite yung pinaka magandang option, kasi siya yung parang take ng Samsung sa ano eh, iPhone SE. Parang yun yung ginawa niya na 
yung flagship specs nilagay niya sa medyo mas affordable, mas na, katawan. affordable na katawan so na ibaba niya yung presyo pero kung hindi niyo naman kailangan yung ganun feeling niyo hindi niyo masusulit yung S Pen hindi niyo rin naman kailangan yung gaming performance masyado or yung ganun kataas na chipset yung 7000 pesos go for the A71 kasi ako Ilang araw ko nang gamit yung A71, hindi talaga ako na-disappoint. Ang ganda ng camera niya. Performance is not as good as flagship phones, pero still good enough para talaga magamit mo siya daily use. Tapos siguro kaya mo itong magamit ng medyo matagal talaga. Hindi siya yung... Hindi siya tulad ng mga lumang mid-range mo na 2 years kailangan mo na magpalit. Ito mukhang ano eh, pang matagalan yung mga bagong flagship phone. So kung pipili ka between the two? A71. A71 mas sulit para sa akin. Okay, since dalawa kami, panalo yung note. May ganun eh. May ganun. Okay guys, so how about you? Which one of the two, which of the two phones do you guys prefer? Let us know down below in the comment section and add your IG handle. Why? Because yan yung mechanics natin for our giveaway. We're giving away a Joy Room power bank that will change your yes. life. Actually, the power bank, just so you know, is around 1,500 pesos. Oh, mahal yun, so, di ba? <laughs> and and uh, secondly, Joy Room siya. So, alam mo, mapagkakatiwalaan yes. na brand. Oh, Talaga parang ako nag-sales pa rin. <laughs> Gamit ko kasi siya ngayon, so... Okay naman, okay, di ba? Okay, okay siya. So, ano yung mechanics? One, sabihin nyo which of the two that you prefer. Leave a comment down below. Include your IG handle. Uh, and next, hindi ko na kailangan sabihin. Alam nyo na to, pero kailangan nyo mag-subscribe kay Alvin siya, kay Mary. The links to their channels can also be found down below, both in the comment section as well as the description box. May gusto pa ba kayo idagdag before we close? Yan lang, wala na. Okay, and with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to everybody. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom! <laughs>